Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for InsertCoinToBegin.com. It's the mini boss, and we wanted to talk a little bit about the Oculus Rift announcement that happened this week here before we get so very buried in E3 news coming up. So first of all, if uh, you haven't heard Oculus Rift, it is a VR virtual reality headset, and this may be, in uh, this humble blogger's opinion, uh, this may be uh, the best chance we have at VR. Uh, but uh, there's a lot going on with this. It's going to be a little pricey, but uh, let's get into what's going on here. Well, first of all, uh, of course, uh, the, there's the uh, headset itself uh, going on. And uh, the, the bigger news, I think, is there's this controller going on uh, called the Oculus Touch, which actually, uh, so it's got buttons on it. It's got a circular kind of thing. I, I, it's hard to describe. It, it feels like, uh, so it'll go on each hand. It feels like a circular, crazy um, 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 Wii controller from the looks of things. But what this is gonna do apparently is give you a little bit of a sense of where your uh, uh, hands are uh, so that the device will know where your hands are so you can see it in 3D space. I was listening to uh, uh, someone on a Daily Tech News show today saying when she tried it out, she was amazed by when she looked down, she saw hands when she's wearing the headset. And they were not her hands, of course. And, and I think this is the way that you're going to be able to track those sorts of things. Uh, this does come with, of course, the headset itself. There's actually going to be a camera that you're going to set up. Uh, I think somewhat in the vein of what how you are using the Kinect. Uh, and basically, the camera is going to track extra movement, more than what the headset's doing on your head, more than what your hands are doing. It will track, actually, I think, your, your body movement a little bit from the sounds of things. This is, uh, of course, going to be compatible with Windows 10, which is uh, set to come out for most of you guys for free. If you have Windows, please go ch check that thing and reserve your copy for free to upgrade to Windows 10. I think all the way back to Windows 7 they're covering. Uh, but it's going to be available, uh, I forget what the release date, we already said it was the beginning of uh, 2016 in an earlier uh, video that we actually did for this channel. Uh, it also <laughs> it also includes an Xbox One wireless gamepad uh, with the Rift, if, if you're using it on the PC, of course. And I think they're announcing compatibility, of course, with with uh, Xbox One here in the future. So I think that's going to be a big takeaway for that because not everybody has the rig. The specs for this that were announced are a little hefty. And uh, I don't know. And they're showing a lot of the games. So we're actually seeing a bit of what exactly is this going to do. And they're saying Q1 2016 officially all over their website. Uh, but the little bit I've seen, uh, there's, there's actually a game trailer going around um, for this called Eve Valkyrie, which is a little bit, uh, the, the bit I've seen, it's been at least a little bit of a ship simulator or something like that. And uh, this video has uh, a really kind of catching me. I'm seeing like head motions and everything, and you're used to kind of seeing that um, in, in kind of a first person perspective game. But uh, in this case, you know, I kind of starting to see the potential. Can you imagine being in a cockpit because I've always felt when whenever you're you're doing like kind of a ship battle game like this, you're so confined to that that straight ahead you know look, and, and you look here and you can actually look around and look behind you. Uh, it 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 think, I think it really does add a new dimension. And this is this is this seems like a really good use for this. And you're not so much on rails like you feel like you are in some other games, even first person shooters to a point, you know. Um, but anyways, I, I think it's really cool to see uh, what they're doing with this. It's going to be pricey. It's certainly going to be pricey. Uh, but uh, it's going to be worth it. I, I think uh, yet not everybody's going to get this thing. I, let's be honest. Not everybody's going to get this thing. But the early adopters are. And I think uh, you know the PC people are. But by add, adding that support for Xbox One, that's really going to open things up. And we're actually starting to see in software that's going to work with it. That's actually going to be captivating to a certain point so um I, i'm kind of interested to see uh, you know what's going to happen are, are we going to have a version of halo that's have compatibility uh even when uh early testers to to one of the development kits they just slapped uh team fortress 2 which is a very popular game if you're not familiar on steam and pc they, they put that on there and uh there's problems it's just a first person shooter um it's not developed to have that freedom of head motion and and be able to be seen in that way so so the motion sickness the the presence is kind of an issue 
So tell me what you think of Oculus Rift, uh, the announcement yesterday, uh, the the connections, the new controller. Uh, I, I think they've taken their time. Uh, the article over on The Verge that I've been uh, uh, poking some stuff at, out of here, the Oculus Rift needed two years to get gaming right. And that sounds right, and I'm kind of glad they did. So, we'll see what happens with that. Let us know what you think if you're watching this on YouTube or the Facebook for InsertCoinToBegin.com. Or if uh, not, just hit us up at InsertCoinTB on the Twitter. I'm at Sorgatron. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.